Hello, I hope you enjoyed my previous video. In this video, I will show you another variation of the bar chart. Please check it out. First, as in the example table, I have two columns, target and current year. We will calculate the variance percent as follows. Subtract the target value from the current year value, then divide this difference by the target value to calculate the percentage rate. I will border this column and format it. Please visit this website and search for the keyword triangle. Then copy the triangle shape and paste it before the 0%. Next, copy the inverted triangle shape and paste it after the semicolon. This semicolon separates positive and negative values. I will add red formatting so that negative values will be formatted in red. Next, we will draw a bar chart. You can see the orange bar represents the current year. I will click on this bar, increase the series overlap to the maximum, and decrease the gap width. Then I will select the secondary axis option and increase the gap width so that the current year bar fits within the target bar. I will also adjust the colors, choosing dark blue for current year and light gray for target. For the legend, we will move it to the top position and rename the chart title. The final step is to add the variance percent values to the data label. Click on the current year bar, click on the plus sign, and select data label. Click on the data label, right click, and select format data labels. Check the value from cells box and highlight the variance percent column. You will see the data label now shows the values from both columns. I will change this to a vertical bar using the separator option. Finally, format the data label as desired. That's it. Do you want to create a line chart like this for the two metrics target and current year over time. Stay tuned for my next video. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with more exciting videos.